Alright legends and welcome to this new episode on FM22 7 teams to manage on Football Manager 2022. Well we're starting off with this team here, Brentford, obviously had to pick one of these, they've just come up, be a really good save for you, you know managed by Thomas Frank but soon to be you if you manage them, nicknamed the Bees, got a Decent sized stadium for any just coming up, 17,250. Season ticket prices on average, £415. Average ticket price being £35. You know, they're a decent team, like I said, that's only just come up into the Premier Division. So, a team that has risen up from as low as the fourth division. So they have come right all the way up through the leagues, which is really, really good for them. This would be a really fun save for you to do, you know. Get them to challenge against the likes of Liverpool, the Manchester United, the Manchester Cities, the Chelsea's. Could you get them right up there? Let's have a look, a little look at their history. They've won the Skybet Championship once. Skybet League won once. League two, three times. And third division once so just all over the board to eventually come up to where they are club background if it'll go on to it founded in 1989 Brentford a professional English club currently playing in the Premier Division so really really good could you get this team like I said to topple the best win the Champions League win the league, make them the best team in England. Right then, that was, first up, Brentford. Right then, second up on the list, Arebro SK play their football in the Swedish top division. Very decent team. Capacity, 12,645. Average ticket prices, £13. So, you know, not that dear when you think about it to go and see a Rebro SK. A team that have got no trophies, so an empty cabinet. I mean, build this team to challenge and win for the league. You know, could you do it in your first actual season? You know, will be hard because to topple the big guys in Sweden like uh, Goltaberg, AIK, Malmo, all of those. I mean... Be a fun save if you could do it in your first season. But if not, it doesn't make any difference. You are going to have fun here. You know, get this team to be the best ranking Swedish team bar none. Can you do it? Would be an excellent save. Look a bit of their history. As I said about trophies, no one has won there. So definitely a good fun save to, save to do. Founded in 1908, a really, really old team. So like I said, get them right up there. And you definitely have fun with this one. Right then, that was Arebro SK. Third on the list, P. Ferraria or P. Ferraria. However it's pronounced, top team in the Portuguese Premier Division. You know, nicknamed these are those from Pacos, if you didn't know, are a top Premier Liga team in Portugal. So, you know, Ferreira, one of the most historic teams in Portuguese football, having been in the Premier Division, well, Liga, for 20 seasons. So, you know, been here a long, long time. Could you get this team to topple the likes of Benfica? Sport in Lisbon and dominate the Portuguese league for years to come. They play their football at Estadio da Capital do Movel, 9,000 capacity. You know, if you want to go and watch them, £8 a ticket. That is worth the price, I'm telling you. History, four times Portuguese second league they've won. One time Portuguese third division which obviously says there now, it's extinct now. Portuguese 3rd Division Group A, Portuguese Porto Division B, 
first division and Portuguese Porto second division. Got a big history there. You know, founded in 1950. So, really, really good. And the club has enjoyed its best spell of success during the 2000s. So they're really starting to come into their own. But for you to topple Benfica and Sport in Lisbon and Porto, it's going to be very hard. But guaranteed, you could do it. See how well you do this team. Right, that was Ferraria. Right, Torino. You know, in the Italian Serie A, 28,000 capacity stadium. Average ticket price, £22, which is not too bad. And they play their football at Olimpico Grand Torino in Turin. So, obviously, fierce rivals, Sampdoria, like it says there. Nicknamed, as it says up the top there, Toro. Plus, they have got other nicknames, which is The Bull or the Maroons. So, if you didn't know that. Torino were widely known as one of the strongest football sides in the 1940s. Until the entire team were killed in 1949 with the Superga air disaster. Don't know, didn't read up too much what it was, but I know they died from it. So, air disaster, obviously plane crash, or something like that. You know, a very big club in Italy with lots of star players. But it's going to be hard trying to topple the likes of Juventus. So I will show you the players now because you might know quite a fair few of these. So we've got Thomas Rincon, Sasa Lucic. I mean, they used to have Bellotti, but can't. See Bellotti on there. Berisha, another really, really decent player. Right, if I show you their history now. Look at that. Really, really good team. They've won the Serie A seven times. Italian Cup five times. Italian Serie B three. And Metropa Cup once. A bit of background behind them. You know, founded in 1906 having enjoyed their greatest era during the 1940s. So that is a big, massive gap. Could you plug that gap and get them to topple Juventus or even win the Champions League with Torino? Decent team to manage. Right then, that was Torino. Fortuna Sittard play their football in Holland in the Eredivisie. Founded in 1968, so a very old club, play their football at Fortuna Sittard Stadion in Sittard, 12,500 capacity stadium, £13 a ticket, and a fierce rivalry with Roda JC. Right, in the 2019-20 season, it ended with Fortuna in 16th place, but with the season being declared void, they still stayed in the Eredivisie. We all know why it was voided and all that. Same as most of the other countries, to be fair, because of, uh, yeah, the pandemic, obviously. With not a very big cabinet full of trophies, you could be the one to make this team grow, fill their cabinet up, maybe get them about two or three cabinets, to be fair. Make this team the best in Holland history there. All they've won really is trophy-wise is the Cuco Campion Divise three times. Background. The club has enjoyed their best ballad success during the 1960s. Another team like Torino with that big, big, big gap with no trophies. Come on. Whack it out of the park and get this team to become the best in Holland. Right, that was Fortuna Sittard. Ross County, obviously in Scotland, in the Cinch Premiership. Nicknamed the Staggers. Decent team in Scotland, to be fair. They play their football at Global Energy Stadium in Dingwall, 
6,540 room capacity, £25 average price for a ticket. So, when Ross County were formed in 1929, they were called Ross and Cromarty before changing their name to Ross County. They've, a, they've had a big rivalry with fellow Highlanders, Inverness, Caledonian Thistle. But it is not like any other rivalries because, you know, it's generally a friendly one between the fans as both sets of fans live and literally work together because of not a big gap between the two uh, clubs. So another one, Ross County, could you topple the likes of Rangers and Celtic in Motherwell and Hearts? Get up there, become the best in Scotland. Do you support Ross County? If you do, whack down in the comments and all that lovely stuff. Right, bit of history. Look at that. That is a big trophy cabinet. You know, Premier Sports Cup they've won, which does look a decent cup, to be fair. Since Championship twice. But one thing I can guarantee you, it hasn't been for a very long time. Enjoyed their greatest area. During the 2010s. Could you make that trophy cabinet. Become. Two or three trophy cabinets. Would be amazing if you could do that. Decent team Ross County. Right then that was. Ross County. Right then. Last on the list today. Norwich City. Obviously, in the English Premier Division, English team, nicknamed the Canaries, you know, are a good team, which they have only just moved back, obviously, into this division. They're owned by Delia Smith, you know, the famous cook. If you don't know her, check it out. Used to always be on TV and stuff like that. You know, could you get this team to topple the likes of Liverpool and stuff? Get them a biggest trophy cabinet because they haven't got a massive one. Play their football at Carrow Road, obviously Norwich. 27, 329 capacity stadium. So it is quite a big stadium, to be fair. They deserve to be here. Average ticket price, £25. You know, see all the likes of all their old players. Craig Bellamy used to be brilliant here. Grant Holt. Malky McKay, Robert Fleck. If you remember all those, you've got to be a Norwich fan. So, yeah, look. Skybet Championship, they've won five times. Carabao Cup twice. League one once. Third division once. Topsy-turvy up and down all the way through the leagues over the years. But now, back where they belong. In the Premiership. Right then, guys. That was the last one on the list today. Then Norwich City. Guys, if you could, please. Whack out the park for that subscribe button, give it a click, help my channel reach its goal of at least 1,000 subscribers, getting close to it, just help me along the way, whack that like button as well, as many likes on this video as you can, so I know you want me to do more of these, and click that bell notification, then YouTube can notify you every single day when I've got a video to come out for you, which is 4pm UK time, every day like I just said, also guys, visit all my social media links, in the description of all of these videos and on my YouTube page. Plus, merch, Patreon, all that lovely stuff. Go check it out. Right, guys, catch you in the next video.